options are available once lung metastasis has occurred? So, unfortunately, it's very limited, and we do not have a magic bullet for the time being. One option is actually to maybe to remove the metastases, and there are certain criteria that we look for to find out if a dog is a good candidate. Um, and by that I mean, is the dog going to benefit from the surgery? And so if the dog were to meet these criteria, then um, we can offer to remove them surgically. And there's uh, decent evidence to show that it can prolong survival. You can also do radiation therapy. There again, um, the type of radiation is important and uh, the number of lesions is also very important. So it's not applicable to every dog. So we, we have to understand that it's a very uh, precise or very narrow criteria where we believe the dogs are actually going to benefit from these treatments. And then there's another treatment that we're currently looking at. It's a drug called Losartan, and we're trying to find out um, if it's going to have a benefit. And, and we're hopeful, but I would say there again, unfortunately, we don't have the evidence yet to really be able to say yes or no. We're, uh, we're currently in the process of testing it. Is it any better for cats as far as treatments? So cats with bone tumors typically do much better. On average, a cat will do much better than a dog so much so that we don't recommend chemotherapy in a cat. So they, they're gonna live much longer than a dog. Again, everything being on average. And what about metronomics for metastasis? So metronomic for metastasis, so far, uh, the, the few studies that I've seen, it hasn't been helpful. So uh, there again, the evidence is what we call retrospective. Um, that I'm aware of, and therefore uh, there can be some weaknesses in that type of data. However, um, there's more than one study and they came to the conclusion that metronomic, and we're talking about cyclophosphamide and what we call a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, um, they have not been helpful in prolonging survival for metastases. Is it something that you uh, would still recommend if somebody wanted to do it? Are you okay giving it? Yeah, I think it's relatively safe, and I think it's important to educate owners as to what the side effects can be, that to be watching for those so that um, we don't make um, give another problem to the dog. It wouldn't be wrong to offer it to a client, um, knowing that it's unlikely to be very effective, but if a client wants to try, I think chemotherapy is very well tolerated in dogs, and the side effects in general are minimal. So. From that perspective, I, I don't think that we really are harmful, and it might have a benefit, but the reality is that for most dogs, it's probably not gonna be helpful.